Here we are preparing the Movi adapter plate for the JS1000. First you have to fix the four small clamps onto the adapter plate in order to fix it on the DJI central frame. You can use the supply tools with the Movi. After you attach the clamps you take the toad in the hole male adapter from Freefly Systems and with the supplied screws you fix it on the bottom part of the adapter plate. After you have done that, you place the adapter plate on the central frame of the S1000 and close the clamps with other 8 screws. We are going to show you now how you can mount the Movi M5 underneath the DJI S1000 or S1000 Plus. I'm sure you were all wondering how can you use one gimbal solution and more cameras with uh, the DJI S1000. So we took the Movi M5 and we're trying to fix it underneath the drone, but uh, as the drone comes delivered, it doesn't leave enough clearance for uh, the Movi to fit underneath it. So these landing gear legs are uh, very short. They're 30 centimeters long, so we change them into 50 centimeters long once, and then now you have enough clearance for the Movi to pop underneath the drone. Uh, what you have to do is before you put these longer carbon fiber tubes uh, underneath the drone, you have to cut these engravings on on the sides, on the ends and uh, then you can mount them into their original places. What else you will need? You will need a, a quick release solution from, from Freefly Systems to be able to switch very quickly from handheld mode and uh, put the gimbal underneath the drone. Uh, they call it toad in the hole adapter. This is the male adapter, the male part of it. And this, you, you have to put it onto the drone, uh, but you have to use a mounting plate, a special adapter plate, what Copter Works sells. You can use this for the Movi, but I'm sure you can put any other gimbal onto it. So we prepared this before, we put the toad in the hole adapter into the mounting plate, and then we now we just pop the Movi and put it under the drone. It's very easy, it's just one simple move, you close it and then you're all set. Let's see if it works. It works even in remote mode, we use the Futaba TAG with the Futaba receiver and then you can control the gimbal on the drone. You can tilt it, you can pan it, and you can even set the roll axis. The other thing what we did, uh, we used wireless transmission, uh, we use HDMI converter from Copterworks, uh, this transforms the signal from the camera and feeds it into the IOSD and from the IOSD it goes into the wireless transmission. Uh, we power the uh, HDMI converter from the Movi but you can power it from the camera or we, you can power it from the drone battery as well. And uh, we also power the Futaba receiver uh, from the Movi. And we use SBUS uh, connection between the Movi and the, the Futaba. So basically, this is it. Hope you enjoy our films. Happy flying!